Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nampomelelo Magagula and this is All Things Entertainment. So, Ayaya Stripped starts today. Many of you know it as Ayaya Season 2, whatever you want to call it. As you may know, at first it had those three guys, SK Koza, Bob Hops, and the other one, the other handsome one. Who's the other handsome one? Tabelo Mukwena and Jessica Ngosi and others. But now it has changed. It's coming back with a new storyline and a new cast. And I got to speak to the lead actress, um, U Rosemary Zimu. And this is how our interview went. I hope you are going to enjoy it. And do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you when I have another video. Gulungile. Bye. Hi, and thank you so much. I'm so sorry that it's only coming to your first question, which is congratulations on getting a lead role in IA Stripped. How are you feeling? Thank you. And I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> um, I remember watching the first IA back then, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love this show so much. And I really hope that if ever there's a second one that comes out, I want to be in that show whether i am a background artist or like whatever and you know not knowing that i am actually just manifesting being the lead and here we are so it feels pretty good <laughs> number two tell us a little bit about zoleka and what you personally think about the character so zoleka is very much about her bag she's very much about um grinding and making sure that her and her son are you know living their best lives and just like she supports you know everything that her son does she supports her her friend Udumi also and she's just always kind of making sure that her son does not like miss out on anything that he 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 he's used to um, I'm trying to give you a lot like about her character without giving away <laughs> without giving away um, the story. Um, what I personally think about her, I admire her really. Um, she is doing something that I feel a lot of mothers would do if they were in her situation. Um, so yeah, she she's kind of an inspiration to me actually. I like her thrive and her drive, you know, she's, yeah, pretty dope. Did you have any challenges? Oh, this is number three. Did you have any challenges preparing for this role and what interests you about Zoleka? I did have some challenges. I'm not even going to lie. Um, Zoleka's character is cool. I love her, right? But the things she does for somebody who is not a mother like myself for somebody who has never gotten to the point that she has you know we ne we always say to never judge our characters but i won't lie the first time i read the script i was like oh girl but then you know i got to i got to know zoleka and i got to be zoleka and then i actually that's when i started getting inspired by her you know um and the person that she is um yeah yeah number four i'm going to try and not make this voice note too long so actually let me make number four the next the next voice note all right question number four you also play a lead role on savage beauty and you did an amazing job thank you so much do you feel any type of pressure to <laughs> uphold the standard every day i feel it every day and you know we always know we always hear we're always told that we're only as good as our next job listen i feel the pressure okay and i felt it when i got into zoleka and i said listen I, I i know i did such a great job on savage beauty and i need to do an even more amazing job with Zoleka and I know I need to do an even more amazing job with whoever comes next and whoever comes next and whoever comes next so the pressure definitely is there um but you know what I know that I am doing what I'm doing for a reason and if I was not good at it I wouldn't be where I am and I wouldn't be as far as I am right now in this 
in this industry. So I think just making sure, um, as always, that, you know, I sharpen my craft and I'm just um, always uh, making sure that I do all the research I need to do for each character that I go into, I guess the pressure kind of the, almost falls off completely, but not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's the standard, the standard. But yeah, number five, do you ever feel like this is your year to shine? Like you just got your big break in the tough acting industry. I feel like every single opportunity I get is my time to shine. I don't feel like specifically this year. Yes, there is a lot happening that is being noticed globally this year, um, you know, surrounding me. But I really feel like every single opportunity I get is like my time to shine. And that's how I treat it. And I make sure that I don't, um, I don't look at anything as little or smaller than any other thing. So, yes, at the moment, yes. It is my year to shine because there is so much happening. Um, but it, it does not take away from everything that has happened before. Because there was a year also where I was on three different sets. And that was also my year to shine, you know. Um, but when I say now globally and internationally, yes, definitely. Definitely it's my year. Question number six. Your success didn't come overnight. Take us through the journey. And did you think that you'd be here today? Definitely didn't come overnight. Um, I got into the industry in 2015. And yeah, it's been it's been tough. But because of my faith, I never, ever wanted to give up. Um, I never saw running away or walking away as an option um you know I, I i fell in love with acting when i was very young when my my gran used to um make us do skits at home and you know i used to enter all these um acting competitions in 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 what is this in preschool we used to um you know, do some sarafinas and all of that. And that's when I really fell in love with acting and, you know, watching things like Imzina Zinzizwa. Yeah, like, I fell, in I fell in love with acting a long time ago. And I knew that this is something that I wanted to do. And then when I got into the industry, I knew that I cannot let no's or me falling or um, rejection or anything like that, like stop me from from getting to where i want to be yes i didn't know that i would be where i am today today <laughs> but i knew that i did want to be where i am right now and now that i am here and i am present i know where i want to be next and yeah it's been a tough journey but it's been so worth every single thing that has happened throughout the journey <laughs> It's been so worth it, so worth it, and I cannot wait to see what happens next and what comes and what blessings um open. Number says most people don't know. <laughs> most people don't know that you're a singer. Do you have any plans of fully showing us that side of yourself? Um, yes, I do. <laughs> I do have plans of showing that side of myself, but I think at the moment I've just really been focused on my acting career. Um, you know, in 2016, I did release a four part, a four track EP and I feel like a lot of people really liked it. But some um, DJs would also tell me that it's it's kind of like ahead of our time because now I listen to a song that I wrote back then called Don't Go and I hear, you know, that type of rhythm and sound right now, which is pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, definitely I am going to try and 
hopefully release something before this year ends maybe another four part e uh, four part but four track ep but i'm not promising anything (laughs) i'm not promising anything um i'll probably use like my breaks to 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 make some songs but yeah man let's see let's see what happens let's see what happens i do I, 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 i don't know i really don't know but i do know i don't know when i'll do it but i do know that i am going to be showing more of that side um in closing what can people look forward to on ayaya and you this year well i like to move in silence um i like to only actually let the world and everybody see what i've been working on once it comes out you know and once it's ready to be seen um so what you can look forward to right now is (laughs) iaa that's what we're looking forward to and what you can look forward to on iaa is a whole lot of drama some plot twists some empowering moments also i feel um some love you're gonna feel yeah the love that that everybody has for each other there and also you're going to feel and see and witness how hard everybody worked on this project and how nobody tried to slack or was slacking in any way and i'm talking from like crew to cast to production we all put our blood sweat and tears into this production and i pray that that is what it reflects yeah (laughs) thank you very much um for your questions they're really fun to answer and i hope that you have a blessed day and an even more amazing week